Okay guys, I'm going to record this so you will have it. So the first step for Gritty HDR is to find an image. And typically Rockstar Images works really good. So I'm going to grab one of Jimi Hendrix. Okay, and remember we want to go to image. We also, oops, I misspelled. Uh, we also want to just go to the search tools. Make sure the size is large. You should be doing this for any image you get off the internet. Okay, uh, typically color images works best. Uh, but just to show you kind of the difference, I'm gonna use this one, which is technically a sepia. It's not black and white, it's kind of a, a different brownie color. So I'm gonna click on view original image. Okay, now I'm gonna right click and save this image as. Jimi Hendrix 2 desktop, perfect, save. Okay, close all this down. I'm uh, going to open up the assignment. You should have the assignment already opened up. Here it is. Okay, I'll go right to the top. First image, here we go. So open a photo. This is where we are right now. Photoshop, file, open. I remember it's on my desktop, Jimi Hendrix 2, perfect. Okay, and it's gonna open up a random size. Whenever you have an opened image, you should always change the image size. So I'm gonna to go to op, uh, image, image size. And then I'm gonna take this largest number. Okay, I'm gonna change that to 11. And for this one, I actually wanna up the resolution to 150. Okay, so it looks a little bigger. I'm just gonna hit Command minus to make sure it fits in the screen. Awesome. Now back to the tutorial. Okay. Um, if your layers, okay, um, what this is saying, right click on the layer, convert to smart image. So that's something we have to do. Click on our layer down here, right click, convert to smart object. Okay, perfect. Now it's going to let us do some things to that image. Okay, make details more visible with the shadow and highlights tool. Anytime you see um, these little arrows, that means it's a drop down. So we're going to go to image, adjustments, shadow, and highlights. Okay, image, adjustments, shadow, and highlights. Image, adjustments, shadow, and highlights. Awesome. Okay, and then you're going to see this little pop up. Whenever I give you a pop up, and if I have uh, something similar here, you should try to copy what I have. So 73 and 18, nothing else clicked. 73. 18. Okay, it really depends on the images you have, right? And where'd my image go? Here we go. Okay, and I don't really like the feel of that, so sometimes you have to kind of just play around and see what it does. Okay, so I want to make it a little bit more contrast. So sometimes if you're playing around with a slider, you can kind of see what it's doing. Okay, so mine today is going to be totally different. Okay, right there, I'm happy with it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, the white jump out, the dark's really dark. I'm gonna hit okay, perfect. Next step. Add a halo effect with the unsharp mask filter. So we're gonna go up to filters, sharpen, unsharp mask. Okay, don't forget about all this other stuff. Okay, so filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Okay, and then it gives us some more things to do. So 75, 250, zero. 75, 250, zero, awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna hit okay. But maybe before that, I'm just gonna play around the slider here and kind of see what it does. Oh, that kind of looks cool. Okay, you can see you can make the image look totally different. Okay, awesome. Hit okay, perfect. Again, when I give you these, it doesn't need to be exact, but what you should try to do is start off with my numbers and then play around a little bit. Okay, this is um, one of the steps where people get uh, lost really quickly. So, uh, please follow along very closely. We're gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. Then it says to change the mode to overlay. Okay, um, so layer new adjustment layer black and white layer new adjustment layer down here black and white right here 
Okay, mode, very important. It says to go to, was it overlay? Yes, and hit okay. Now you're gonna see a little, little box right there. Okay, that's perfect. Um, also, it's going to say you can play with the presets, right? So you're gonna see that is no longer a pop-up box, it's just right here. So this is where my image will differ, differ a little bit from yours, because it basically it uh, takes the colors from the image but because mine isn't really a full color image, it's not going to show. Uh, basically, mine's gonna be a, a lot of the reds and yellows. See how I can totally turn that up or down and make it look crazy? Like that looks pretty cool. But that's more of like a poster than what I wanna do with this, okay? Um, I have a little bit of magenta in there. So yours will be totally different than mine because yours was going to have a lot of, um, a lot of color in your image, okay? Then I'm done with it, perfect. Awesome, it's good to go. Next step. Uh, create a new layer named grain. This you have to follow exactly because some people have missed this last step. Okay, we're gonna go layer, new layer, type grain, click overlay, and then another button. So layer, new, layer, type grain. Oops. Grain, mode, overlay. And then most importantly, it says Click the fill with neutral color, which is 50% gray, okay? And then check out, uh, yours should be a gray box. If it's a white box, you didn't do it, okay? That is the most common mistake in this tutorial. So double check that your box is gray, okay? Once we're done that, awesome, next step. So uh, filter, noise, add noise, check mark monochromatic and hit okay. So filter noise add noise monochromatic perfect let's play around with it a little bit okay you can see how grainy it makes it look okay so you don't want it to look super fake like this you can't really see the pixels whereas if i do this it kind of looks like garbage right so i'm going to put it down to where it just kind of gives it some texture awesome right there next step Blur the noise, so choose filter, blur, Gaussian blur, enter 0 0.0 or 0 0.3 radius, hit OK. Okay, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. 0.3, it already is, but I'm gonna move this and kind of play with it to see. Okay, yeah, I'll put in 0.3. Okay, I'm happy with that, I'm gonna hit OK. Awesome, okay. Uh, increase the contrast of the layers with auto levels. Here's another um, difference. Okay, so in ours, we have image adjustment levels. It says to look for auto levels, but there's an auto button when you click levels. Okay, so I'm gonna, I just clicked auto or hit levels. Now I can click the auto button. Okay, and that makes it really uh, grainy, which I'm not super pumped about. So I'm gonna kind of play with this a little bit. You can play with some of these sliders and kind of see what it does to your image. Okay, I'm happy with it right there. Okay, and way, that's it, that's done. So what I'm gonna do is go file, save for web and device. Okay, I always hit the minus so you can see your whole image. Okay. Because we have the resolution at 150, it might be hard to get this number around 100. Perfect, at 175, that'll work. I'm gonna hit save. Jimi Hendrix 2, I, I don't wanna rewrite over my original image. So I'm just gonna type four, save. Okay, now let's get this up on the blog. Okay, and you'll see the before and after pictures. And uh, that's it. Okay, I'll show you. I have enough time here. So, go to my blog, Mr. Gobey, blogspot.com. See some other classwork. Sign in. Okay, it's too slow.